In this video, I'm going to explain how you can deploy the API that you created and then publish it on Rapid API Hub using Rapid API Studio and then monetizing it. So before we go into that, I would like to explain another very important and cool feature of Rapid API Client, uh, which is that it supports and adapts its design to your VS Code theme. Uh, let's open our command palette for that. You can interact with APIs in VS Code with your favorite theme and syntax highlighting. Change your theme and the client will match it with full syntax highlighting. Let's change the color theme. I'm selecting color theme. Uh, at the time, it's Shades of Purple by Ahmed Averse. Let's change it to Dark Visual Studio. And it is working uh, very well. Let's change it to another theme. I'm selecting the default dark. And again, it's working. Uh, this is again a very cool feature of Rapid API client. I am going back to shades of purple because I find it easy to use and the syntax highlighting, it's amazing in this theme. You can use any of the themes that you want. Moving on now, as I explained to you that how we created the API, the movies API in my previous video, now it's time to deploy it. For that, uh, I have opened my project, the Rapid API project in which I created uh, my movies API and even tested it locally. Uh, let's run the server by typing nodemon index.js to see if it's still working. Now let's go back to our local host 5500 and yes, the API is working. Uh, before I deploy the API, I need to create a git ignore file. Uh, for that, I'm typing this command and it will take a few minutes. And now you can see on the left hand side that my git ignore file has been generated. Let's clear the screen. Now I am going to create a new repo. Uh, I'm typing repo.new in my search bar. And here I'm going to give my repository a name. Let's say I, as I've created the movies API, so I'm giving it uh, movies, keeping my repository to private and then click this create repository and it's done. Uh, let's now go back to our terminal and initialize the repository by typing git init. And after that, I am going to copy this command git remote add origin and paste it here inside my terminal. The next step is that I am going to add it by typing git add dot. And then I am going to copy this uh, commit here and going to commit it right here. Uh, the final step after committing is to push this. So I'm copying this git push dash u origin main and pasting it inside my terminal. After this, I will go to my Heroku login uh, and I'm going to log in my Heroku account. Uh, going to click login right here. Then I am going to click this new and create new app. Let's give my app a name of Maham Demo and it's available. I'm going to click create app and it's done. The next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this GitHub, connect to GitHub. And then here I'm going to type the repo name, which is movies in this case. I'm going to click search and here it is. Let's click connect. Uh, after clicking connect, the next is that I'm going to enable automatic deploys and finally deploy branch. It will take a few minutes and then you will get this message that your app was successfully deployed. Let's now click view. Uh, here, let's enter slash movies because that's the endpoint. And yes, it's working and we have deployed the API that we created. Let's now clear the screen right here and close our terminal. We have successfully created the API and deployed it on Heroku. Now, the next step is to publish it on Rapid API Hub using Rapid API Studio. Other than Rapid API Client, the VS Code extension, Rapid API launched also Rapid API Studio, which holds everything you need during your API development. It houses different Rapid API products into a single platform. This is the interface of Rapid API Studio. 
It provides an integrated user experience to build, consume, and govern APIs. It has the power of API provider to help you publish your APIs on Rapid API Hub. It utilizes the strengths of Paw to create different branches, sessions, and environments to quickly debug your API. In my previous video, I explained how you can sign into Octopore from Rapid API client. I'm going to click this Rapid API icon from the left sidebar menu in my VS Code. At the moment here, uh, by moving my cursor on this icon, I'm getting this indication of sign out because in my previous video, I've already signed it using Octopore. This enable bi-directional sync between Rapid API Studio and Rapid API Client for VS Code. If you have missed that step, you can always uh, do that by clicking on this top right icon on the Rapid API Client extension and you'll be signed in and can start syncing to Rapid API. As we have uh, enabled bi-directional sync, let's create a new project. Uh, click on the icon next to this icon right here and I'm going to click this and I'm going to create a new project. Here you can see that I'm getting all the projects that are present um, in my Rapid API Studio account and I'm going to create a new project. Rapid API will ask you whether you want to create a local project or uh, in your Rapid API personal space. So I'm going to click Rapid API personal and now I'm going to type the name of the project right here. I'm typing movies API and pressing enter. You can see that here I'm getting this indication that creating project in Rapid API now I'm getting this message that do you want to sync your local project to the new movies API project on Rapid API? Yes, I want to do that. So I'm going to click yes and it's done. Now I'm getting this indication of movies API online uh, and this means that it's present on my Rapid API studio as well. Let's go back and see that. Yeah, here it is. My movies API that I created uh, using Rapid API client for VS Code is now has been synced to my Rapid API Studio as well. Make sure that you are signed in to your Rapid API Studio account that I have explained earlier in my previous video. Let's now start testing the API that I created uh, for this video. For that, I am going to click this plus icon from request. And this time, instead of uh, localhost 5500, in the, I'm going to enter the URL that I'm getting uh, from my deployed Heroku app. I'm going back to my application right here. I'm going to copy this URL and going to paste it here and select the get method uh, from this drop down menu. I'm going to give it a name, the request get movies and click the send button. And yes, you can see that my API is working perfectly fine as I'm getting a status code of 200. Let's now click this icon right here, the sync one. And let's now create another two requests, the post and delete requests. With the same URL, I am going to change this to post, changing the name of this request to post movies. And inside body, I'm going to click JSON. I am adding this another movie and then clicking the send button and here it is the movie the mummy uh, year 1999 and rating 7.1 next is the final um, request that is the delete http method I'm going to select delete from this drop down menu going to paste the same url that I got from my deployed Heroku app now it's time to give it a name. So I'm naming it delete movies. Inside my body, again, JSON, I'm giving an ID. Let's click send. And yes, ID2 has been removed. Let's now sync this by clicking this icon right here to my Rapid API Studio as well. I'll explain what the sync is going to do in a few minutes. And head over to our Rapid API Studio. In, this is the Rapid API Studio dashboard and I'm going to click this Movies API that I created using Rapid API Client. Let's click on to the Request icon on the left sidebar menu. 
Here, you will find all the API requests we created inside Rapid API Client. This is due to the bi-directional sync we enabled inside Rapid API Client. How amazing is that? And you're getting this indication cloud sync synced to checked, which means that whatever you're going to do inside your Visual Studio Code editor, it will be present inside your Rapid API Studio as well. Now, after creating the API, deploying it uh, on Heroku, and even syncing the project uh, to your Rapid API Studio account, the next step is to publish it on Rapid API Hub. For that, I'm going to click Hub Listing from the sidebar menu. Here, you can uh, upload a logo uh, of your API, select a category to which your API belongs to. I am selecting the Movies category since my API is related to movies. Uh, I can even add a short description. Here I'm getting this default created from VS Code and then I can fill in a few optional details. Uh, here I'm going to check this box to change the visibility of my API project from private to public. And now I am going to add the base URL in this section. I'm going back to my Heroku uh, deployed app URL right here, copying it and pasting it here. I'm going to remove this endpoint slash movies because this is just the base URL. Hit in the save button and we're on to the next section which is the endpoints page. Here I'm going to add the endpoints. Uh, I am going to create a REST endpoint since it's a RESTful API, giving my endpoint a name. Now I'm going to give uh, the description as a list of movies then here i am going to select this the get http method and going to give my endpoint slash movies right here let's save this let's now create another endpoint this time i'm naming it as post movies and the description as posting a new movie detail selecting the post http method from here and then writing the endpoint in this bar right here and then hit in the save button this way i can add as many uh, endpoints i want for get post delete or any other http method the next step is to monetize the api here uh, in Rapid API Studio, we have two plans, the public plans and the private plans. Here in the public plans, you can either go with the basic, the free plan, or you can even go with the pro, ultra and mega plans by editing the required information. I am sticking to the basic plan. Here I can even change uh, this, the plan type from monthly subscription to pay per use. I can even add a rate limit, recommended plans and subscription price and so on. That's it. Uh, let's now click this view in hub. This is how my API is looking on rapid API hub. Here I'm getting the endpoints that I created, the get and the post endpoints. Uh, let's now click this test endpoint to see if it's working properly or not. And yes, I'm getting a 200 status code, which shows that the API is working perfectly fine. How amazing is that? That's all folks, we have successfully created the API using Rapid API Client for VS Code, deployed it on Heroku and published it on Rapid API Hub using Rapid API Studio. Let me give you a brief overview of what we discussed in this course. Firstly, we started with the brief introduction where and explained the drawback of standalone API clients and Rapid API VS Code client solving the problem. Then I explained uh, the user interface of Rapid API Client and then we tested a public REST API and even generated API call snippets using Rapid API Client. We highlighted API development in TypeScript using Rapid API VS Code Client as well and finally we created projects and tested it locally inside VS Code, published and even used Rapid API Studio. If you want to know more about Rapid API Studio, then I'll recommend uh, taking the next course in Rapid API Studio, uh, which is an API management tool that has everything from API managing to testing to monetizing your APIs. 
Hope this entire course was super helpful to you. Uh, so what are you waiting for? Go ahead and install Rabbit API Client, the VS Code extension.